All right, on this video of I Can Do It Yourself, that's what I call the channel, I Can Do It Yourself, um, is we're doing a product review of the Floormate Deluxe, the Hoover Floormate Deluxe versus the Hoover Floormate, the old fashioned one, right? Right, honey? Right. Okay, so we just bought the new Floormate Deluxe. It was $139 at Target. Um, so we just picked it right up. I got it because our old Floormate, this is the old one, um, it was starting to not suck as well, and it's really, really, really loud. I did take it apart um, and found that it was uh, something at least broke in there, but I think the motor itself is giving out because it's extremely loud, and I couldn't really do anything with it, uh, fixing it. So for the comparison side-by-side -side test, it's already, um, we're, we're going to kind of compare it to what it's been because we've had this for, how many years have we had this? Two. Two years. So we're gonna kind of compare the cleaning strength since we've been cleaning with this thing about, I mean, how often do we clean with it? Once a week or something? About once a week for the last two years. So we'll be able to kind of be able to say what the cleaning is of this. But let's look at the design elements. Uh, so first off is the old one. So here, maybe, why don't you film me? So I noticed this getting it out of the box. The old one has the flip down handle. The new one does not have a flip down handle. So where we actually had, oh, oh, twist it, can't do anything with that. Um, the other one is, it's a fixed handle with a screw that it took me actually 20 minutes or so to find the screw in the box because it was taped to a piece in here. Uh, so I was really flabbergasted by it for a while. But where we had this stored is we had it already stored where we needed this fold down. So that's a design negative, I think, for the new one, right? Yes. Uh, you would think. And also, we actually measured the cords uh, because we, I noticed when I plugged in the new one, the cord is noticeably shorter. So the new cord is 20 foot, the old cord is 26, 26 feet. <laughs> so I, I actually had to measure it. Uh, so you might run out of cord with the new one. All right. Uh, the other feature is you can really see visually is the brush size on the new one is noticeably smaller than the other one. So the old one is 13, this is 13 inches long, and the new one is 11, so it's two inches shorter. So that, that was a common thing online. Um, however, some of the design features that we really like with this new one is this, this old one had this tank, and we're gonna do a comparison when we actually do some cleaning of how to clean that tank out. Uh, and then the fill-up tanks as well. Um, however, I do really like the big, the big floor button the, to put it in the upright mode. So that's much larger than the uh, than the old one. It was just a smaller, a smaller button. Um, it also came with a, a thing of solution and another brush head. To change the brush head, you just pop this thing off here, and then you push down here, and you come it out. You pull the brush out, and it's actually quite easy. And this comes in there, but I do notice that you might have to really make sure that is on there because that's where it's sucking up the water. Okay, so we're going to continue the comparison test with the fill-up tanks. We're going to go to the sink, and let's see. This is the this is the fill-up tank here. Fill-up tank here. All right. Okay, I've taken the tanks out and I'm going to get ready to fill up. And the, the other tank is visually bigger, but I don't, you know, I want to actually test this to see how much water it holds compared to the old tank. Um, so I've got a measuring cup here that's got four cups in it, and I'm going to see um, how much these things hold. So here we go. Okay, that's at the fill line, and we have, so we basically ate up another, well, a little bit more than two cups, so that's just about six cups in there. So six cups versus four, so it's noticeably a uh, bigger tank. Um, that, that we noticed with the old one was that the this would run out of water much quicker than, um, than the old uh, tank did. So I'm going to go fill up the solution. This is what came with the new one is their new solution, so I'm just going to throw some in there. It said it came, this is a measuring cup, and you're supposed to 
measured in there, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. I'm trying to spill it too much. And it's got a nice little locking cap here. Okay. All right, I guess we're ready for the test. Okay, so our first test here, and this is the reason why we got rid of this one, is it's so loud. And it has gotten louder over the years, and I don't know why. I mean, I've taken it all the way down to the motor itself and ran the motor on its own without anything. Um, it's just the motor getting old. So it has always been loud, but it's getting loud. So what I've got here is a, a application uh, to measure decibels. I don't know how accurate this really is, but I mean, you can see the, well, average, average home, average number of conversation. You know, it's about right. Um, so we're going to use that, and I'm going to use this because this thing is loud. So let me get this on here. Ready? Okay, I have my earmuffs on. <laughs> this is loud. All right, ready? Okay, peaked at 85. All right, here's the new one. Find the button. Noticeably softer. And for a comparison of that, I'm going to just turn the Dyson on. Okay, so same thing. Done with that. Hope you turn your speakers down for that one. So um, average inside car for, for both of these two. This guy, absolutely noticeably loud to the point where you need, you need hearing protection for this uh, if you're going to run that. And we have to... Uh, the outside, so it has gotten louder, but it has always been louder um, than any other average vacuum. All right, so on to the cleaning tests. So we've got some nice ketchup stains from the kids over here, nice and dried and caked in. So I think that might be my first test. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Something I notice is that this rubber seal really sticks to the floor now. As you're moving it back and forth, it, it really adheres. So it, it's really, it, I think, much better at picking things up. It dries much better. And it dries much better. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a compare test uh, of the dirty tanks. So I think um, we're going to clean this floor with this one and then we can give a review because we've done the other one on this floor a million times and um, it doesn't suction as well anyway so I don't think it's as fair because it's not a brand new product but I'm gonna dirty it up in the garage a little bit in the dirty tank and then uh, you clean this floor and we will come back with the dirty tank review right yes okay okay so we have both ran out you've ran 
about half of your tank, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's getting near full because we were running it and the it's sound not, started changing. It's not full. But dropped it on the floor. you dropped it on the floor, so she dropped it backwards, and so it's kind of got water all over it. So it's still quite messy, just like the other one, right? A little bit. So and it's still a little bit of. Um, well, I think it'd be fine if I hadn't dropped it. Yeah. Just need to let it finish dripping, and then I'll suck it up. Okay. Well, let's do the empty tank, and then we'll give us our like overall review on this. You think you can do an overall review compared to the other one at this point? Yeah. All right. So here, let's take the tank. So I think this is kind of it locks in there better than the other one, right? Yeah. Because the other one was like. I like the tanks way better. The tanks are much better. So here, let's let's start emptying this out. All right, and I got it pretty dirty. So this other one, I mean, it still picks up. We might use it for the garage because, I mean, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> so <laughs> I got it dirty. I got it dirty. All right. So how do we want to do this? We, we want to record cleaning it, or we want to do a after? Or what do we want to do? Okay. So here we go. This is one thing that... Uh, Which one do you start with? Oh, well, whatever you want to start with. Start with... Okay, start with the clean one. Oh, it's got a nice little latch. Okay. See how it's all clean on the inside? Well, yeah, because we didn't get it all dirty. <laughs> what? You're being quiet. Okay. And it has that sponge uh, instead of the filter. It, how does that come apart now? Can you take it apart? I don't know. I mean, you got to be able to clean that sponge out, right? You can take it oh, apart you have to screw? unscrew it? No way. You can't take the sponge out and clean the sponge without unscrewing it? You don't need to clean the sponge. Yeah, well, I do. You just rinse it out the other way. Okay. See that? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right, well, why don't you, uh... So there's the new Hoover Floor Mate Deluxe Dirty Tank. I mean, our floor wasn't as dirty as the garage floor, so... But, okay, so you like this one much better than the other one. Well, yeah, it's way right. easier to clean. Way easier to and clean up. this is much cleaner. Okay. Alright, now this guy, this was something we always really hated. Okay. See all the channels in here that uh, okay. fill up with gunk? You oh, I see. You cannot get okay because it's behind in there. The water in there, and if you try to get the water in there, it just splashes all over the place. And I always okay. had to soak this in bleach. Okay, so you hated this thing. I did. All right. And then this filter. Um, it's like a catch on it. You can take it off. Well, yeah, you can take it off, but and replace it, but I don't. I want to replace it. I want to... Because it had the vacuum thing, so you yeah. have to keep the particles from getting in the air. Now that uh, it doesn't vacuum, you just okay. have to sponge. But this gets dirty after just like two uses, and then you, yeah. you have to buy a replacement part. But you can never get this clean enough. You've got this crevice in here, and there's just... There's gunk in here that I've never been able to get out. Yeah. Okay. All right. And this always stays really nasty. Well, but it's going to, the other one's going to be like that too. The other one's not going to have as much gunk because you have to vacuum the yeah, floor first. Yeah, vacuum the floor first. Well, that was the thing because when we first looked at it and they removed the vacuum feature. So that was a feature they took away. But in hindsight, maybe that is better overall that you vacuum your floor first and then you use the floor mate for what it's good for, which is, um, which is cleaning the floor, right? Yeah. So... All right. I, I'd prefer to vacuum the floor first because this I always had to soak and bleach. Okay. So this this is a, a definite no no for you, right? Yeah. yeah. So even though um, they did remove quite a bit of features with the new floor mate, right? That doesn't have the handle that that pulls down. It has a shorter cord, and the actual cleaning base is shorter by two inches. But so, it scrub it contacts the floor better because they took the vacuuming away. So it so. Okay, so our review is by removing the vacuum feature, you're able to clean the floor better, right? And it dries the floor better. And it dries the floor better. The other better. one never dried before because it didn't lower enough. It didn't have the squeegee. Okay. 
and it didn't touch the floor good enough. Okay. So overall, okay, if we're going to go give it stars here, what, let me pause. So overall, um, and this is really, you know, Cindy's thing, because um, I never really used it as much, but I see that, um, you know, the dot design does have problems compared to the old one. It's still messy. I think these are maybe 10 years away from being still really good. I mean, it's not like a blow away. It's only messy because you, I dropped, you dropped it, it backwards on the floor. So she dropped. Not to go upside down. So well, she dropped the handle back, and it all came out. But um, I was gonna suck it up before you filmed. Yeah. So overall, compared to a brand, not our old one that's broken a little bit, but let's let's compare. If you had to give a five star rating between the old Dyson, if you had a brand new one and you went out to go buy it, because this is $139, the other one's maybe $120 or $115, um, how many stars would you give the old the old one? Because you loved it, you still loved it. Well, I love them better than your traditional dirty, stinking mop. So you said maybe a three. Yeah, Okay. I would give this one a four. And give that one a four. So slightly better, it's not like blow it out the water better, but it is better than the other. So this our is, this is better. Okay, so our recommendation is the deluxe is worth the extra ten or fifteen dollars compared to the other one, even yeah. though you lose some of the features with it, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I can still store it somewhere. I don't. The collapsible handles yeah. not the end of the world. And and I don't think that the the smaller base is really you know the smaller cleaning is really such a well, deal breaker because it actually I cleans better. I can fit in smaller places now. Some oh, that other, is true. I couldn't fit. Um, yeah next between the toilet and the bathtub yeah the other one yeah you had to scrub by hand and, and this one will fit and the tank thing is much better i like the tank the tanks the, fit much better the tank cleans much better and you can get it out so i think all in all it's an improvement but it's still not perfect right, right. so there we go that's our review the i can do it yourself review for the dyson um Oh, not Dyson. It's not a Dyson. It's a Hoover. A Hoover Floor Mate Deluxe. Right? Great. All right. See you later.